mama don't die. I'm making sure their mama don't get in a wheelchair if I can help you. If their mama don't lose her sight, if I can help you. If her mama don't lose her memory. If I start studying MS like I had. I start studying MS. Your problem is you're not studying this product like it, like your life bound on it. Like your life depend on it. You playing with this product. You know what? You like the people that work for me that want to check. And they never end up getting it. But the people who own, who work for my company, act like they own it. Wake up every single day making sure she don't have to go back to work. So watch this. I started studying and I found out two things. One is stress. So I had to take her out of a stressful situation. And then the other thing was vitamin D. And I literally, people say, bro, why you move to Southern California? Because my wife got it, man. I literally type what's the best place in the world for vitamin D? Southern California. What's the best temperature in the world in the United States of America? San Diego, California. It don't never, it don't go... 99, 100, and then back down. It's right there. I said, San Diego, I'm hunting down. You're moving to San Diego. Why? I don't care about San Diego. My why? My wife. And the first year, last year, we were in San Diego. My wife said to me, when we went back to Michigan, when the summer came, my wife said, you know something? I said, what? She said, I never took a nap in California. I said, what you mean by that? She said, the sun energized me, and I never needed to take a nap bro come after me the reason why most of you can't do what you do you can keep getting knocked down you keep quitting because whatever your why is it ain't stronger than the beat down it take whatever the beat down whatever life is throwing at you whatever punches is blowing you whatever's happening it ain't that it ain't deep enough for you to wake up like you getting punched and you feel that pain and you like ain't no need to get up no and i feel you you need to stay down because life gonna beat you you talking about making millions life gonna beat you down Time discovers truth. If you don't value your time, neither will others. Three things cannot be long hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth. Buddha. Hope in reality is the worst of all evils because it prolongs the torments of man. Opportunities multiply as they are seized. The act of taking the first step is what separates the winners from the losers. Brian Tracy Inhale and exhale. After today, everything is about to change. Because change starts with you. To understand this is to know the difference between men and lions. You must understand that there is more than one path to the top of the mountain. And in this very moment, all you have is all you need. See, somebody lied to you and told you that life is about acquiring more to move forward. And what if I told you that getting to the top of the mountain was not about acquiring more, but about becoming more? That if you can become, then you will find your authentic path to the top. Everybody wants to go to the top, but nobody wants to discover new ways to climb there. Find your authenticity. Discover your identity. We're all told, if you want to get to the top, follow the leader. But that is a broken mentality. Yes, leaders are necessary, but we must be fully aware when we have been called to lead, to blaze our own trail. To discover a new way is daunting, it's exhausting to get to the top. But there is more than one way, and you will discover that way by not acquiring. So it is not the more that you get, the faster you will go. It is the more you become, the quicker you will elevate. 
and so get into it. A man must not only consider how daily his life wasteth and decreaseth, but this also, that if he live long, he cannot be certain whether his understanding shall continue so able and sufficient for either discreet consideration in matter of businesses or for contemplation, it being the thing whereon true knowledge of things both divine and human doth depend. For if once he shall begin to dote his respiration, nutrition, his imaginative and appetitive and other natural faculties may still continue the same, he shall find no want of them. But how to make that right use of himself that he should, how to observe exactly in all things that which is right and just, how to redress and rectify all wrong, or sudden apprehensions and imaginations, and even of this particular, whether he should live any longer or no, to consider duly, for all such things, wherein the best strength and vigor of the mind is most requisite, his power and ability will be past and gone. Thou must hasten, therefore, not only because thou art every day nearer unto death than other, but also because that intellective faculty in thee, whereby thou art enabled to know the true nature of things, and to order all thy actions by that knowledge, doth daily waste and decay, or may fail thee before thou die. Never ruin an apology with an excuse. Mistakes are proof that you're trying. Success usually comes to those who are too busy to be looking for it. Henry David Thoreau Knowledge is not power until it is applied. When you can't go back, you have to worry only about the best way of moving forward. To know yourself is to know the source of all peace and happiness. Nisargadatta Maharaj enters into battle. A soldier is focused, disciplined, innovative, creative, and purposeful. If we will approach our everyday lives like a trained and dedicated soldier approaches battle, we will win and not just exist. Everything you do must have meaning. You must focus and practice discipline in every moment for every task. You must discipline your thinking. You must discipline your conversation. You must establish your goals and accomplish them. You must use strategy to create the best outcomes Every thought, every word, every action has a specific purpose. You must master the day. You must approach your life like a trained and skilled soldier approaches warfare. Life is not a game. This will not be easy. But in the end, you will win. Fight like a dead man, like you're dead to your insecurities, like you're dead to your vulnerabilities, like you're dead to the pain of the past. Fight like a dead man. When a man fights like he's already dead, he's desperate, he's dangerous, he's disciplined. Fight for your life. Claw your way into your future. Fight for your goal. Give it everything. To stir up a man to the contempt of death, this among other things, is of good power and efficacy, that even they who esteemed pleasure to be happiness and pain misery, did nevertheless many of them contemn death as much as any. And can death be terrible to him, to whom that only seems good, which in the ordinary 